Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Broken Image Reviews with your host, Broken Image. And today, I've got another item that I wanted to do a review on. The item that we're going to be doing a review on is a Netgear Nighthawk router. This is the AX2400, and this is a dual band router. This routes out Wi Fi at 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. It's got a powerful 1.5 gigahertz triple core processor. It's got five ethernet ports on here that goes up to 1000 megabytes per second. On paper, it looks like a pretty beast of a router and I'm actually upgrading my network to use a router because I've been routing everything through my modem. We're gonna be going over this. I'm gonna unbox this. I'm gonna set it all up on camera. We're gonna plug it all up. I think you can use your phone to network into this, to this router with the app, either iOS or Android and you could just get right into your router through your phone. You don't have to link up your PC. I'm going to do it both ways. I'm gonna link it up on my PC and I'm gonna link it up on my phone and we're gonna check both ways out. It'll be a lot easier to show you guys on my PC because I can just screen record it. I'm gonna see how well this router works for my modem. All right guys, let's get right into it. <laughs> This is my Netgear modem. I actually currently, I'm using it as a router. I've got four devices hooked up to it and wow, I have so much gigabyte usage. I have a FirstNet through AT&T and that's how I have internet come into my house. So I'm gonna set up my router right here at the end of this table, right there on the edge. And this room is at the center of my house. It's the best spot for a router to be for everybody else to get internet to through the router. That's why I'm putting the router in this room and not another room. And also, I'm going to hook directly my Xbox directly up to the router so I can get the fastest speed through my Xbox as well. So, let's go ahead and open up this router. How do you open the box? What's in the box? Open up. There we go. So you open up from the bottom there. And this is what comes in the packet right here. You got a quick start guide. It comes with a Ethernet cable. A charger and here's how the router comes straight out of the box we got our router we got our cable we got our power it's a nice little quick start guide a little ASMR for you guys. that's so beautiful all right guys so we got our nighthawk router right here here's what it looks like on the back we have our internet in here. This is where the internet from the modem is going to be coming through with that ethernet cable. We have our place that we got our 20, 12 volt to 2.5. This is where our DC goes. This is where our alternating current goes in. Power. That's where the power is. On off button. Reset button. And then we have three out, out ethernet ports right here if you want to hard line out of this router. Which that's where one of my Xbox ethernet ports are going to go to. But the rest is all on Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and link that all. Alright, so we're going to hook our ethernet cable up right here. That goes into the router. And then we're going to hook our power up to the little power thing right there. That goes into the wall. Right here. Got a little red light on. I guess that means it's showing power or orange light. All right guys, so what I had to do was the cable that came with it, the ethernet cable wasn't long enough to stretch from this router all the way across my desk over to the modem where I get the best signal for the Wi-Fi into my house. So, but my ethernet cable that went from my Xbox to the modem was long enough. So I, I took that ethernet cable and I stuck it on the bottom of my modem and I brought it all the way over here and I put it for the internet in into the back of the router. So the power, the back of the router, then the ethernet cable that came with this router, I put it into the number one socket on the four ethernet cable sockets that's in the back of the router. I put that from the router over to my Xbox. So my Xbox is hardwired into the router. It's not gonna be on the Wi-Fi network. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log into the, the Wi-Fi network on my laptop and I'm gonna screen I'm gonna screen record it so you guys can see what I'm doing there. But you could actually do it with your with an app on your phone, which I've already downloaded. So yeah, you could just go in and get the Nighthawk Night Gear app through your phone right here. You can put that on your phone and you can do everything through your phone what I'm about to do on the computer. As you can see, all these little lights on here, like whenever I plugged it in, it just took a while and it lit up all of that, all those lights. So what that means is it's at, it's a green, it's working good at 2.4 at five and I've got one ethernet cable and I've got my ethernet cable into the one port 
and it's got internet. It's flicking on that little internet button. All right, guys. So we're in here on our Nighthawk router. This is my local IP for my Nighthawk router. You put 10.0.0.1 in the search bar on your router whenever you link it up, and it'll pull up your router setting. And you just put in your password, your username, which is admin by default, and password, whatever password you set it to. And then you could get into here. You can go onto your mobile app and set all that stuff up through there. And then you could get on your desktop and actually go into each of the settings. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So right now I've got five devices hooked up to my router. This is my wireless uh, key password. No, it's showing my key password. I, I need to link all this stuff out. You're not gonna see any of this stuff down here my password <laughs> and here are all your settings you can get basic or advanced so let's go to basic first so we go to internet click on internet it'll show us our name for our router and it'll you could change that and it'll show your ip addresses i'm sure the primary secondary all that stuff and then you could go into your wireless settings like this different wireless settings for the different networks. I've got my 2.4 network that I've called Burnet Wi-Fi Ultra. That's my 2.4 gigahertz. And I've got it on channel nine. You could change the channels on here too. So if you're in an area that other people are on channel nine, they just change it to a different channel. And how you check that is there is an app you could get on your phone. I will link it in the description. I know the app is on Google Play. I don't know if it's on the iOS app store, app store, and it'll show where all the other Wi-Fi networks are. And you just put your Wi-Fi network in a spot that the other Wi-Fi networks aren't. We've got ours on channel nine. I'm out in the middle of the country. It doesn't really matter which channel it's on. And then my five gigahertz channel is on channel 44. So it's like completely on the other side of the spectrum to where it's not ever gonna interfere with the 2.4 gigahertz. So five gigahertz is high speed right next to the router. 2.4 is you could actually go away and you could still have connection to to that router we'll click on attach devices as you can see up at top you could see my downloads and upload speeds are this it sells signal hotspot and that's the speeds i'm getting off my hotspot they're not bad speeds they're okay but whenever i start streaming it lags down a lot so i actually need to get a better antenna to stick up in my attic I had bought an antenna, but it's not a really good one. And I actually did a review on that and I'll be posting that video here on the page shortly about the review on that. And it boosted it up a little bit, but not much. It's nothing to write home about. And I would not suggest buying that antenna. I would get a different one. So over here, it sets the priorities of each, each device. The highest priority would be a wired priority, right? And then I've got my laptop, Poetic Justice. I've got my Samsung TV. I've got my kids' Xbox One, and I've got our Roku TV in our bedroom, all hooked up to the network right now. If you go over here to the QoS, you can actually test your speed on here too. So you click this, take a speed test, and it'll test how fast your download and upload speeds are on your uh, router. Yours are probably gonna be better than mine because I'm going through cell service I'm out in the middle of the country. Click here to see bandwidth utilized by devices. So you click on that and it just comes back here to the attached devices. If you click on, like see this, my wired, I could click on that and I click on edit and I could go down here and I could change it. This is my, I have it on gang, gaming. It defaulted because it knew that that was a gaming console, Xbox. But you could change it to whatever. Your Mac address, all that stuff's right there and my ip address for this local ip is right there as well let's go over here to advance your setup wizard your router ip wireless all that stuff region united states got the channel this is my 5 gig this is my 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi could get it broadband guest networks you have your guest networks all that great stuff right there a setup wizard. Oh, by the way, if you get this router, you get one free year of of anti theft. Not anti theft. What am I talking about? <laughs> one free year of security, like internet security, uh, through I uh, forget what is what security this is. Lan setup, NAT filtering, secured, disabled or open, a NAT type. 
we would probably want open and I have not set that yet. So just go ahead and click open, click apply. And that actually helps better with gaming. If you're gaming, you want your NAT type to be open, right? LAN setup, but that's your wireless setup. I'm on LAN security, access control. Allowed. All this stuff is allowed access to my device. It automatically allows, but you could change it to block all new devices. And then you could click apply. Keywords, block in sites. So in here, this would be good for like for kids if you don't want to get on certain sites. You could type in keywords right here, like special keywords, you know what I'm saying? So they can't they can't search anything while they're on the Wi-Fi router. I think I'm gonna do that here in a minute. So yeah, guys, so that's it. I'm so glad I got my Nighthawk router because now I get to put all my workload on that router and not my little teeny modem here that I ha I used to be doing. Yeah, it's actually helped out a lot on my connection speeds and I've got my, my laptop up. I'm gonna put my everything connected to my Nighthawk router now. So it should help a loads on organizing the bandwidth in this house. If you guys do wanna get a Nighthawk router and if any hiccups come or whatever, I'll make another updated video on it. But as far as right now, I'm super impressed. I'm super happy for it. And if this video has helped you guys out in any way, please make sure to drop a little like, click that little subscribe button down there, and uh, stay tuned for like whatever more how-to videos I post in the future. Because anytime I get any new any new gear from my from my setup in here in my game room, I plan on posting it. I plan on making a review. I plan on trying to help you guys out. And so where, whenever you guys come across an issue that I've came across, I can, or if I've came across an issue that you guys came across, I can help you guys out with a little video. That's what I want to do with my YouTube channel. And that's where this YouTube channel is going. So y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.